Previously on Sherlock Holmes. What do you think, Toby? Good talk. And now we continue. Okay. I don't know if it'll let us uh, look up other things, though. My like archive. the missing peeps. I can always consult with it if needed. Mm, I guess we don't need to. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Okay, Toby, you did good. Well, well. Sweet slumber after a hard working day. On my pillow. <laughs> good job, Toby. A map of London and its surroundings. Could be useful. Okay. Time to go back to the Marsh's house and sneak in. <laughs> we are so stealthy. Boo. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A heist. A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. Yes, please. That's the only way of helping little Tom. Yeah, come on. Don't you want to help? He's like, I, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, the back door was locked, so gotta sneak. This is not the best way to sneak in. Sorry, back door it is. You gotta try to go through a window, but okay. Uh, I wonder if we'll be able to see if that nook was actually. A suspicious nook, not just a nook. Okay, is this a better way to sneak in? Ah, uh, okay. So now we need the number one, and then, uh, and then we need the number. There's no space for this lockpick. Oh. Wait, how do I? Switch to lock. Oh, remove it. And then. Nope. There's no space for this lockpick. Uh, confirm. Okay, we did it. Okay, quiet now. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Quiet. Duh. That. <laughs> oh, you're so clumsy. <laughs> Can you please not? I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. I Fisher, have to. please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Before he breaks more stuff. Good job, Watson. Oh, I hope that wasn't too expensive. Hmm. Okay, specialize. We know the routine. Uh, okay. Hmm. Hanging crookedly. Fingerprints. Let's see what how hard to crack this safe is. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second opinion, so that the great Lord Marsh does not become the late Lord Marsh. <laughs> oh, uh, wow. Since you put it that way. Dude, the other well. doc is right there. Shall I retire to your office, Lord no. Marsh? No! No, please, Doctor. <laughs> I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. No! Shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Can we hide here? Mr. Holmes? Dang it! What are you doing here? You've been caught? No! Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. chance, guys. Come on, come on, come on, move faster, hide. Okay. Uh, how is he not going to see us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, phew. Okay. Uh, just wondering, but what else is here? Okay. Oops. Oh. Dear Lord Collins, it's clear to me that we could learn a great many things about running the Empire from those who we trample underfoot. These same people whom we leave destitute and starving in the shadows of our own city at home or abroad. Okay. So he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I wonder if the doc is the one. <clears throat> Marsh's political letter. To this day, and by my estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundations of our prosperous empire. This is largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of work in this field whilst ignoring critics and hindrance from his arrogant colleagues who are so set in their ways. This is all... I was just moving that. Dear Lord Marsh, thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. I didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Huh? Is that it? So someone did well in this special education program. Weird. Wait, what else? Before we go. Okay. Let's just pick the lock then. Oh. Rotate the safe dial and locate the area of a clear sound feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Ooh, this could take a minute. Oh no, look, we have a thing. Okay. Whoa. I have to remember how locks work. Uh, I think you turn them all the way around once, and then, so we're going to just after 10. Okay, then you go the other way. Lesson for the tumbler. Okay. Oh. Oops. Uh, wait. Okay, we gotta do the different, um... Maybe now we're on to the second tumbler? Okay, okay. I see what we're doing. So we're not doing a normal, like, lock thing. We're just getting each one. So this is actually super simple and I was making it difficult. We got it, though. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, maybe we gotta listen up here, where it's pointing, maybe? We did it. There we go. What do we got? Okay, that's not needed. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Dear Lord Marsh, on November 7th, our meeting starts at Grungston Oak. I've attached a map to this letter so that you might find the place easily. Lord Collins. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, and Harrington, I so admire all of these paupers. They seem to me to be such a breath of fresh air. Communicating with them is such a pleasure, and they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps it is they who should have been lords, and we, the simple commoners. What? I... Mm? Is that all supposed to be sarcasm? You know, I could have read it in a way that was, like, legitimate, but maybe I'm prejudiced against lords. Is that it? Really? Yeah. So we gotta go to the place. But, nah. But. Huh. Fragment. Wonder if these uh go inside. Ah, uh, what's our log book say to do? No, we got more stuff to find. Not done here. Is that a... Huh. Oh, this over here. They're hunters. Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. They are so hunting people. But how does Lord Marsh hunt people right now if he's so sick? Or maybe they watch them hunt each other. And that's how he didn't know if he's gonna come back alive? Because it was kill or be killed? I don't know. Do you want to hide I again? I can hide here. No. Okay. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza, Lord Marsh. Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <laughs> yep. Ah. <clears throat> uh, sneak it! My lord, Watson. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You are going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. What's your deal? What is his deal? Okay. I'm gonna take another moment and see what clues we may have added. Not a lot. The hunter Lord Marsh has many hunting trophies in his office. Do you think he was part of that? I mean, it's, they're all hunters. Ooh. 
Yes. Wait, why did we do this? Yeah, he may still be alive. Um. Okay. Hey, Watson. I may have a meeting to go mess up and listen to. First, a little more deduction. And there's not a link between this and his wound. Like, maybe... Uh, okay, maybe there is. Okay. Boy, I love it. Hmm. Holmes, okay. come here. This is serious. Okay, sorry. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Uh, plus he looks it. Let's study it more closely. Okay. Sputum with tiny drops of blood. Uh-huh. Mm. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Okay. I need to take a sample of it. You... Mm. Wait, using that? I need to take a sample of it using the glass rod. Ah, oh, that. Sample. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. I'm sure this is proper diagnosing, but it's cool. What do these do? I need a pipette. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you said it's so, like, um, obvious. This chemical should be applied third. Third? This chemical should be applied second. Oh, huh, okay. So we're just going in order. The fuchsia one. One, two, and three. Okay, so what do we got? Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. Uh, okay. We are doing so much science, guys. Whoa. Examine the stain detail. Look for unusual elements. Whoa. That's new? Is that unusual? Oh, that's that. Uh huh. A mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. Layman's terms, please. Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared. Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't oh. say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, <laughs> he will I die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet, both Lord Marsh and Doctor Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. Mm. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Hmm... Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. 
I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Eh. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. <laughs> Did you know? Well, well. This is so romantic. Okay. This is so romantic. Mm. I feel like we shouldn't intrude on her privacy. Okay. Wait, why would it be? Oh. Probably on my map would be a better place to examine it. No? This place has maps. It's not what we need. Nope. Um. Wait, this is probably not it either. Princeton Oak. Is that like. <laughs> is that literally an oak tree? Oh, dude! Grunston's Oak is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. The origin of its name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some people say that over centuries, witches perform their ceremonies near this tree? Um. These rites have assured that whoever may touch the tree of Grunston's oak will be cursed for all time. What? Like, I know this game had, like, a spooky name, and I was wondering when the spookiness would kind of play in, and... Huh. Witches' ceremonies. Here it is. Cronston's Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. It is indeed. Number seven, that's today. What else do we got? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this is the thing that I guess indicated that he was part of a thing. Huh. Group S. Yeah, they were all group S. George Hurst's name isn't here. Why isn't his name here? Maybe we missed... Maybe we missed a group. That's weird. Or maybe it's a list of everyone that took place and it won't be... Like, since it's going to happen. It uh, hasn't yet, actually. There's really no need to walk. Uh, maybe... Let me just make sure that there's nothing else to do. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Nope, 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 nope. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Oh, you still sleeping? You're good? <gasps> I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. It is thrilling. It is thrilling. Okay. You're not. Oh, wait. 
Examine Eppingforst. Here we go. Let's try to find the place from the hand-drawn map. Okay. This could take a second. Oh, dude, this is actually super simple. Look at like the little thing, and maybe here. Here it is. Yep. Rat. I'll need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Then let's hurry. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very <laughs> often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him. Yeah, father. Back at school, there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. Uh -huh. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. <laughs> uh. Y yeah. Oh, Kate, I know what you're like. You'll terrify him. He won't Wait, dare what? to come back here again. Is that what you think? <laughs> I love it. Wait. Oh, Kate. I'll leave you alone now. I thought that was going to be us being like, yep, go talk to Wiggins. Ah, well. Oh, wait, we can do more. No. Oh, maybe we should just connect these anyway. Wait, missing. Why is this? Huh. George Harris knew about the meetings between Lord Marsh and his companions that took place. Huh. Lord Marsh and his companions entered the forest that was indicated on George Hurst's map to hold a meeting. George Hurst is there, maybe still alive. Go to Eppington Forest. We are already on our way, actually. Find out what's going on in Epping Forest. It is a location where Lord Marsh has planned the meeting. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go to Epping Forest. What if we miss something and everything goes wrong? Uh, oh well, let's do it.